Good afternoon, everyone. How's it going? Stack in the South, um, coming back at you. I think with this, it's the first video of the year. It is January 4th, 2023. I feel like it was just, uh, you know, 2020. Not that long ago, 2019. Yeah, it's just, it's been miserable. Um, hopefully this is to a better year, which not last year was not horrible, but this year is definitely going to be better. Um, let's see, I started back... Uh, doing this oh yeah don't forget to like and subscribe um i started doing this i think i looked and i put my first video out in july almost the very end of july right in the beginning of august um that's when i put my, my first two videos and uh i think i've come a long way um gotten a pretty decent stack i just get closer and closer to the hundred dollar or the hundred uh, ounce mark um i keep marching on keep finding stuff i like and, um, you know, at first I had no idea what I was going to, what I wanted to do. I just started buying things, um, like they're going out of style, not like they're going out of style, but I, I had no rhyme or reason. I just started buying random things, art bars. I definitely went on a kick for those for a while. I have some really cool ones. Um, this, I'm getting pretty proud of this. I have almost an entire tube. Generic rounds. Crazy. Look at all that. Yeah. Man, that's 16. I'm there. I'm getting there. All right. I'm getting there. Four more, and that tube will be complete. Um, got a long way to go on the other ones. Um, my Silver Eagles. I have three in there. Um, I have a proof. I have this, I have this, sorry, that's awful quick, I know no one gets to look at this, yep, I have those, I also went ahead and bought a set of all the different sizes of the Silver Libertads, 2022's First Strike uh, PCGS MS69. Um, you know, I don't know if it was worth it to buy these in these containers, but really I paid about $8 more after I added it all up from the place for those than if I would have just bought them loose. So, I'm okay with that. Anyway, but things like the Libertads, I love the Libertads. I mean, they're just pricey. Kind of like American Silver Eagle, which I also love. But that is just a beautiful, beautiful design. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. And of course... The reverse is just on point two. But anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do next year. I'm, going, I'm marching my way towards the 100 ounce mark. I'm going to think I'm going to start diversifying more once I get to that 100 ounce mark. Not completely stop because I love buying silver. There's so much of it. I always find something I like. Um, hold up. I'm going to put on some gloves. All right. Thank you for the pause button. Anyway, gloves, good to go. Honestly, I don't really like wearing these. But I didn't like what happened to this. I didn't like seeing uh, my big old thumbprint get mashed right into the side less than two weeks after I had it. So I decided when I buy coins like this, God, the milk spotting on this is insane. Um, it did not look like that when I bought it. But I decided when I'm going to touch shiny silver that I like like that a lot, I'll probably just put on gloves. So this, I went to the LCS today and picked this up. I walked in there and almost all, it was like half empty. I couldn't believe it. I looked at the guy and he looked at me and I looked at him puzzled. I said like, where is everything? Apparently there's some sort of a thing that they sent all their stuff to and there wasn't much left but I did uh I did manage to find this little gem with some toning on it I love this stuff right here it almost looks like it was heated I I'm not sure hopefully it wasn't but um yeah I picked this one up today um I'm getting a little collection of Canadian uh, silver going on yeah that's awesome. I can't wait to see what this one does over time. This is a 2000, 
17. Yep. All right, that's good stuff. So things like that, I'm not going to necessarily touch. Let's see. What else do I have this Canadian? I have a couple maples. This one's got some nice toning going on in the original mint packaging. I won't be taking it out of there. I do really like that picture of the queen on this one. 1989. Wow. forgot it was that old. Got this one too. Eh, maybe a wee bit of toning on this one. Let's see what year is this. 88. Yep. Let's see. Uh, really? <laughs> Only one maple, just one maple down there loose. Everything else has like a package already, so I'm not sure. Uh, and then this, this beast, the two ounce werewolf. Yeah, I need to get a new um, capsule. I don't know what happened to this one. Um, I think I tried to stuff it in my box a little too hard and it cracked, oops. Um, yeah, so I really like the Royal Canadian Mint silver it's outstanding so moving forward I'm going to continue to pile up the silver and I think I've decided that yes I'm going to buy some other stuff on the side I don't really buy that much because I'm still having fun with the silver and I just want to get to a point I'm going to buy a lot more platinum I'm going to stock up on platinum I have a feeling platinum is going to go up pretty pretty good at some point probably not too distant future but for now i'm going to continue to buy generic rounds silver generic art bars government coins american or otherwise now the american silver eagles <laughs> yeah i'm going to keep buying them who am i kidding um Libertads and so on and so forth and anything else that catches my eye. It's I Know I should be buying weight. I should be buying bars Five ten ounce bars, but I, I, I honestly can't afford to buy Three four five of those at a time and I feel like uh, my videos would be boring if all I had was just some you know five to ten bars five to ten ounce bars that was just I feel like this stuff is way more fun to look at Anyway, this is obviously not Canadian. Thank you. Hopefully you made it this far. If you did, ah, I really appreciate y'all. Thank you. Have a great day. And I hope your new year is everything you hoped it is. Thank you. Bye.